All right, people, I just want to run through the boxing schedule for the next three months. This will cover the remainder of January, the month of February and the month of March. I'm not going to list all the fights that are happening in those three months, obviously, because I'd be here all day. It's <laughs> probably hundreds of fights going on around the world. So this is just going to be a list of, in what my opinion, are the highlight fights of the next few months. And not all these fights are going to be 50-50 competitive fights. Some of them may just be situations where I'm interested to see how a certain fighter is going to look in his fight. Maybe he's a prospect on the way up and I want to see how he's performing at the moment. It might not be a 50-50 fight. Anyway, without further ado, let me give you the boxing schedule for the next three months or two and a half months. For the remainder of January, we got Spence versus Peterson on the 20th. We got Easter versus Fortuna also on the 20th and Kaunaki versus Kaladze on the 20th. Those fights, I believe, are all in the same card. Then on the 27th of January, we got Linares versus Gesta and Matisse versus Kiram. And those two fights, I believe, are on the same card. Moving on into February, we've got Akoli versus Chamberlain on the 3rd and Cheeseman versus Jones on the 3rd. Those fights are also on the same card. On the 3rd in Russia, we've got Garcia versus Dorticus. Then in the USA, I believe, is Ramirez versus Ahmed. That will be Ramirez defending his WBO Super Middleweight World Title. Then on the 10th, we've got a few fights, uh, starting with Tete versus Novaez, Yard versus TBA, and Dubois versus TBA. Those three fights being on the same card. And in the United States, on that same night, we've got Lipinets versus Garcia. I believe that's in the United States. Correct me if I'm wrong. On the 16th, we've got Joe Joyce fighting on an undercard somewhere against TBA. Interested to see how he's going to do. And on the 17th, we've got George Groves versus Chris Eubank Jr. Also on the 17th of February, Garcia versus Rios. And Benavidez versus Gavril too. Also Plant versus Medina is on the 17th of February as well. On the 24th of February, to round off the month, there is Smith versus Braymar in the World Boxing Super Series. Moving on into March, it starts off with Kovalev versus Mikalkin. That's how I'm going to pronounce that guy's name on the third. Kovalev versus Mikalkin. And you've got Bivol versus Barrera also on the third. I believe those two fights are on the same card. Then you've got Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz happening also on March 3rd. You've got Darrell versus Uzkatsky 2 that may be on the same card as Wilder Ortiz. Not 100% sure. I believe it probably sh sounds like it should be. It's an all Al Heyman affair. Then also on the third, you've got Brook versus uh, Rabchenko that will be taking place in the UK. And then you've got Valdez versus Quig on March 10th. And finally, Dylan White versus Lucas Brown on March 24th. So those are the highlights, at least in my view, of the boxing schedule over the next three months or well, two and a half months, however you want to term it. So yeah, let me know what you feel about the fights that I've mentioned. Let me know if you feel there are some fights I should have highlighted, which I didn't. And how do you see these fights going? Do you think this year, 2018, is going to be as strong as 2017? We were really spoiled in 2017 because it was one of the best years that I've ever seen in boxing in my life. And I've been following this sport for decades. So yeah, let me know how you feel about those fights on this schedule. And do you expect 2018 to be anywhere even close to 2018? It looks as though it's gonna it's shaping up to be at least close to 2017. You know, 2018 will be as somewhere close to 2017. So we're in for a treat. So yeah, drop your comments in the comment section below, people. It's happening, I'm out.